Am I the asshole? For embarrassing a guy in my lecture by telling him I'm not going to answer his questions? I had to do a group presentation as part of my end of year assignment and I think it mostly went great. The presentation was 15 minutes minimum with a 15 minute question session afterwards. There's one guy in my course John 21 meters who many people in the course dislike. He's the epitome of an well actually guy who likes to be the devil's advocate for things that shouldn't have a devil's advocate. He's embarrassed himself more than once by asking ridiculous and pointless questions to our professors that have no relevance and he's very full of himself. I'm aware that this all may seem harsh, but this has been consistent behavior for the past two years and his smarminess has isolated himself from many people in our course who don't want to deal with him. After our presentation, he says he has several questions and proceeds to ask some of the most irrelevant questions. For example, in the presentation, I mentioned that one of my inspirations for the project was a trend in 2020 where grown men usually 30-40 year olds would do at teenage girls 13-17 tic-tacs mocking them from how they liked their coffee to their prom dresses. John's question was don't you think they should get criticism for posting online? Not only was this not relevant to the project, but you could sense the tension in the room. So many people rolled their eyes and even his friend gave him a shut up nudge. After a few more questions which were all directed at me, not the other three people in the group, I admittedly got annoyed and said listen, mate. I'm not going to answer any more questions from you. You're clearly trying to grasp at straws here. The rest of the questions from our other peers were great and actually of substance. And overall, I feel the whole thing went well other than that one hiccup. As we were leaving the hall, I hear John complaining to some of his friends and then I saw him going to talk to our lecturer. I got an email from our professor asking me to join a team's meeting where I was expected to apologize for embarrassing John and something about how we were supposed to create a safe space for our fellow peers and by being rude I didn't do that. He said if we can sort it out before Thursday tomorrow by ourselves, then great so I sent John a quick message saying I didn't mean to be short with him but he was clearly asking pointless questions. He just replied you didn't have to be a bitch about it and then blocked me. Am I the asshole? Edit sorry for the late edit I just got back from work. There were three guys and one girl me in the group and the professor is a guy also. To everyone asking why I didn't handle this professionally this is the first time I've done something like this and I was already nervous because of the grade assignment aspect and I get major stage anxiety. This was the first time in my whole life that I've had to do an academic presentation. Not the asshole. I was expected to apologize for embarrassing John and something about how we were supposed to create a safe space for our fellow peers and by being rude I didn't do that. Why hasn't John already been spoken to about this? You stood up for yourself. That's it. Not the asshole. Under those circumstances, experienced lecturers have fob off phrases that are politer than yours. That is beyond the scope of this presentation or I'd love to take more of your questions but I'd like to get questions from other students to then look at the other students for help. Or that's an interesting question but discussion on that would take up more time than we have here. You get the idea. He's a pain, but there is one in every group. You need a polite but firm shutdown phrase, see how your lecturers handle similar situations and make a mental note. Make sure you screenshot him calling you a bitch. I was thinking what a ridiculous thing for you to get in trouble for until I saw that he called you a bitch and I realized you're a woman. If a man had shut him down there would be no further action from anyone. Not the asshole. Team meeting, no one pointed out that that question was one. Unrelated to the discussion at hand, and two and more important essentially virtue shaming those girls. He needs a safe space, my ass. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Take screenshots and show it to your professor. Not the asshole. You were creating a safe space by preventing all the eyeballs in the classroom from being permanently stuck in the reverse position.
not the arsehole skip the professor and so straight to administration. This behavior is abhorrent. I would really like to hear your professor answer whether he thought John's questions were asked in good faith. Anyone who's spent time at university has met a John, and no, they don't deserve politeness. Polite social norms are the shield they hide behind to torment others, usually through some form of bigotry. Fuck that all the way off. Not the asshole. But this is where diplomacy comes in handy. Thank you for being so engaged. I'd like to create the opportunity for other classmates to ask questions now. Tell your professor that creating a safe space was exactly your goal. John had asked an ample number of questions and you worried that the discussion was being dominated by the interchange, so you cut it off after engaging for a significant amount of time. You regret your phrasing, but not your goal of making room for other classmates to participate in the Q&A. I'd definitely be showing them where he called you a bitch. Sure it's unprofessional to say you're done answering questions but calling someone a bitch is way worse lol. Not the asshole fuck him and fuck that professor. Take your screenshot of him calling you a bitch to your team's meeting and if the professor doesn't do anything go above his head. Not the asshole and your professor valuing John's feelings over everyone else's is a problem. It's because John is a man and annoying, and therefore must be catered to. Blair? Not the asshole and push back hard on the professor. Not the asshole mention that he creates an unsafe and unwelcoming space with his behavior. Say you have put up with him for years and you are done. Not the asshole. I join the team's meeting and simply say I'm not going to apologize. Then end the meeting and report the instructor and John for facilitating a culture of harassment. In the US, many universities have an ombuds. Someone completely outside of any reporting hierarchies who deals with people in complete confidentiality. I suggest going to this person, because it sounds to me like you are being blamed for trying to control this student's impact on TBE group, which is the lecturer's job. But from Ray terms you've used here, I think you may not be in the US. Not the asshole this isn't about safe space, this is about professional behavior. John wasn't behaving professionally, maybe your response could have been better, but you were right. John doubled down on the unprofessional behavior by calling you a bitch, and that doesn't help with the safe space issue, either. I had a similar situation in a speech class in college. I had to critique a TV commercial. One of my critiques was that they used very stereotypical gender roles. The men were doctors and bankers, the women were damsels in distress. During the QA I had a Wellectu Halley guy 100 using this from now on ask if I was aware of the negative repercussions on males by only seeing themselves in positions of success and how hard it can be on them. The professor was having none of it and shut him down. It was beautiful. You are not the asshole. The not the asshole. John, I'd like to sincerely apologize. I'm sorry you are a misogynistic prick. I'm sorry your questions had nothing to do with the presentation. I'm sorry I had to waste time answering your bullshit questions instead of the well thought out questions asked by others in the class. I'm sorry you felt it necessary to resort to name calling. Finally, I am deeply sorry to have to be the one to tell you that being a dick won't make yours any bigger. Warmest regards, op. Not the asshole. My lab just fired a guy like this. Don't apologize. Natar. If I were you, I wouldn't be interested in entertaining him any further. You attempted to solve the problem and he called you a bitch and blocked you. I would absolutely not be attending any team's meeting for him to air grievances after that nonsense. He had his opportunity to solve it maturely and chose not to. That's the end of the situation to me. Fuck I hate people like that. Not the asshole. I had one guy exactly like that in my first year of uni. We had to do a presentation on a set list of topics. After every presentation, he'd ask some smart ass question that vaguely related. Was slightly dreading what he was gonna ask me. Mine was to do with building a PC or something like that. At the end of mine, he piped up and asked is it good enough to run Minecraft? 
I told him yes, this sort of PC is able to run games made for children. I thought you were in high school when I was reading this but re-read your age and realized this must be a college class. Not the asshole. He tattled to the professor. It's time to be a grown-up, buddy. You can't tattle on everyone being mean in real life. Honestly think it's weird the professor got involved. Edit and honestly you weren't all that mean. He sounds exhausting. Not the asshole and don't apologize. He's the ass. Nada. This guy is a dick and your professor is spineless for not standing up to him sooner. It screenshot my apology and his response and email it to the teacher. John is pushing buttons no one has time for. Not the asshole. Not the asshole and your supervisor threw you under the buzz. He's an asshole and so is Smarmy. Not the asshole. Screenshot John's reply because he called you a bitch. That's misogynistic and he's not creating a safe place and owes you an apology. You can take control of the meeting too. Thank you for calling a meeting about safe spaces and John. He repeatedly makes me and my peers feel uncomfortable. I chose not to engage. I think Terry's a bigger issue than me not engaging. Not the asshole, and your professor is an itwit to assume that the fault was yours. Bring the text message of John calling you a bitch, air your totally valid point that he hijacks the project constantly by doing what he did, and if you can, get written statements backing this up from other project team members. It is not at all uncommon for a man to play devil's advocate or otherwise mess with a woman presenter. It happens all of the time. I love that you put this jerk in his place, and am very glad that he was embarrassed.